What is up YouTube and welcome back to another video man and in today's video we are going to be swiping on a Muslim based dating app. Now I myself am Muslim but I'm not the most religious Muslim however in this experiment we are going to be using high quality photos showcasing my lifestyle showcasing my physique and we're going to see if high quality photos and that fun edgy bad boy lifestyle can it triumph their beliefs will they give in or will they still go and follow their moral beliefs of looking for their traditional conservative guy so this is going to be a fun little experiment and we're using the app dill mill so this is dill mill it says to fill out a prompt but I believe i have everything already filled out so here's my profile a quality photo bio right here um, again specified I'm Muslim fitness traveling spontaneous adventures looking for someone who lives an active and healthy lifestyle as well as someone who is willing to travel to various landmarks around the world and willing to see what life has to offer so you got high quality photo number two a little bit about me spontaneous weightlifting barbecue road trips karaoke bars photo of me with a drink in my hand. This is where it gets a little bit juicy. We got a mixed drink. We got, you know, a dog photo. Muslims aren't the biggest fan of dogs because we believe that they're not so clean. I personally, you know, I don't mind dogs at all, right? But a lot of conservative Muslim women aren't the biggest fans of them. So yeah, man, dog photo. Um, work out often don't have any dietary preference a lot of muslim people are obviously halal right very pure and do i drink i put socially so we're really going against the traditional muslim values man on this profile um, so i'm very curious to see will they give in to a high quality profile with some badass photos or are they going to stick with their moral beliefs and this might be a complete fail. I might not get any matches because, you know, they're really looking for that moral conservative guy, man, which clearly I'm not. So, yeah, shirtless physique, as you can see, showcasing high quality lifestyle, good physique. But I really wonder if they'll give in, man. And then lastly, a lifestyle hobby type of photo on an ATV. So kind of that edgy, bad boyish. Uh, profile right here with high quality photos man so let's put this to the test and let's see what type of girls we get now i'm gonna do a couple swipes i don't want to bore you guys and then we're gonna come back in a couple days and we're gonna see you know what type of woman we uh we get if any right will they give in or will they not give in so let's do a little bit of swiping and I'm gonna swipe right on every girl just for data purposes, you know, just to see if they give in or not. So as you can see right off the bat, man, not bad, you know, not bad, not bad. Quality time. This one actually drinks socially. So I think we may actually get some matches on here, man, because it doesn't look, because they're so far it, uh, don't not all muslim women i guess are uh super super conservative on these apps so we'll see what happens we might actually get some matches uh not my type but fuck it for this experiment um muslim sunni she drank she's kind of cute wow she drinks socially yeah, we'll see, man. We might actually get some matches. Oh, my God. Muslim Bengali. That's India. There's a lot of communities, right? Sindhi, Punjabi. I'm Mus I'm Bengali. So we'll see, man. We might actually get some good matches on here, especially if these women are actually drinking. Oh, here's one that doesn't drink ever. Pretty halal. Um, yeah, man, let's do like two or three more swipes just to get you guys a feel for Muslim dating app Muslim Punjabi Ugh. Looks like she got plastic surgery man um, Halal again halal so we do have a good mix of halal girls on here Oh my 
God. I'm liking this app. Cool, man. Yeah, I don't want to, uh... Man, drinking socially. Okay, we might get some good ones on here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, um... Not my type, but for data purposes... Swipe it. Do a couple more. Not bad. Not bad. Let's do like two more. She's cute. Sana. Does not drink. Okay. And maybe one more. Again, halal. God. It's like I want to stop, but it's like that dopamine. Cute girl, cute girl, cute girl. She drink? Or she halal? Let us see. She drinks socially, man. We might get some mixed matches. So as you can see, not every Muslim woman is super, super conservative. All right, I think this is a good place to stop. Um, I'm gonna do some more swiping and I will get back to you in a couple days and let's see what we get. All right, guys, it has been 48 hours since we created our Dill Mill Muslim dating app profile. And again, just to recap, this was an experiment, completely data-driven, swiping right on every single person on a Muslim South Asian dating app. It was an experiment to see, you know, what do these women want when it comes to having a profile with a ton of just high quality photos, right? But the other side of it, you know, a photo of me the mixed drink at a bar, a photo of me with the dog, a shirtless photo of me, right? Not exactly the most halal type of photos out there, but this was a fun little experiment. All these other photos that don't really lean towards the religious side of things, but high quality photos, can that overcome someone's moral thoughts, beliefs? And we're using this Muslim filtered South Asian dating app. So. 48 hours, been 48 hours. Let's see what type of results we got. And trust me, I was looking at this earlier, even messaged a couple of the matches and the results were pretty mind blowing. I didn't expect to get any matches at all. So opening up the app and just to do a little quick recap of my profile high quality photos all across the board right again you know the mixed drink then we got the little dog photo got a shirtless pic so yeah man really photos showcasing the lifestyle high quality photos in addition to a couple photos that aren't exactly super halal in terms of you know conservative muslim beliefs right but anyways you know here we go like and i even said on my profile you know do you drink i said socially right combine that the dog photo shirtless pic you would think i wouldn't get any matches on here which is what i thought because i filtered the app for only muslim women right you know so i wouldn't think i would get too many matches considering how conservative a lot of Muslim women are, especially when it comes to things like having a dog or, you know, shirtless pic, right? You would think girls who are super halal would not swipe right, but results were pretty mind blowing, man. So let me show you the craziness of this. Literally over 50, 60, 70 matches in. 48 hours. I mean, look at this, guys. This is absolutely mind blowing. And again, this was a data driven experiment, right? So we swiped right on every single woman on here just to see, you know, just data, right? If any girl would be willing to compromise, you know, the halal beliefs, so to speak, for a guy who just has high quality photos and looks good. And it looks like a lot of these women indeed did i mean look at this this is insane <laughs> like 
matches on matches, guys. And what does this prove overall? You know, high quality photos are all that matters. You know, you got girls messaging me. Um, you can start messaging a couple of these chicks back as well. As you can see, girls don't have the best game. So I'm not gonna spend too much time composing socially gamey text messages, right? But it is crazy how chicks are, uh, give guys shit for not having good opening lines when half of them talk about, you know, they send the classic, hey, what's up? You're ATVing in your pick. Do you go often? I always wanted to. Missed my chance in Colombia. I go every now and then. That pick was from Dominican Republic. Yeah, let's respond to a couple of these. Again, data driven, you know, just seeing what's out there, how many girls in general, regardless of how they look like, would swipe right on the profile. And you know what, since, you know, it's match time, might as well filter it to girls that I find kind of interesting right now in, in terms of messaging them back, so. Yeah. Dang. Med student. Extroverted, introvert, someone to go out with on Fridays, binge TV shows with, be able to cook, get you some brownie points. I'll always laugh at your jokes. All right. She's cute, man. Send her a message. It's going well. So here's a joke. Are, this is a, are you a parking ticket because you have fine written all over you? This isn't how I usually text, but for the purposes of this experiment, just have fun with it, man. Just have fun with it. If you have high quality photos, guys, as you can see, like you can kind of play around, right? You can kind of, you know, shoot your shot a little bit more. It's all about photos, guys. All about high quality photos. Let's respond back to some of these random ones. Hi, like, you know, this is what pisses me off when girls give guys shit about not having good game, or I guess not having, you know, good crafty messages on these. And again, guys, look at this. Halal, drinking, never, physically, act, like, it's insane, and yet, they're swiping right on a guy who has a shirtless pick, has a mixed drink in his profile, has a dog pick, says he drinks. Like, it's insane. It's literally, they're willing to throw away their moral values for men who just look good, who have high quality photos. And I think in real life, you know, it'd be a little bit different, but on dating apps, man, it's literally high quality photos. That is it. That'll get you through the door, regardless of, you know, a girl's I guess moral beliefs when it comes to online dating right like it's, it's wild man absolutely wild hey what's up you're cute what is your ah. you're cute uh, you know what she was actually is she's decent I'm gonna try and do a text that's like not cringe on this. Um, let's see. Doctorate, healthcare professional. All right. Hey, what's up? What field of health care are you in? Cool. Let's see. Maybe message some of, uh, some of the, you know, other matches that haven't messaged me yet. Maria. Yeah, guys, this is, wow. A lot of cute Muslim girls on here. And yet drinking, never drinking, right? Halal. And they're willing to compromise it for a guy who, you know, 
has a wild profile, right? With high quality photos, who does drink, shirtless pic, dog photo, all things a lot of Muslim women aren't so fond of, but yeah, man, pretty, pretty amazing. <laughs> She's cute though. Let's see what we can, what we can work with. Let's see what type of message we should send. Um, pickleball. All right. Looking for a pickleball partner. We would be a great duo. <laughs> Looking for a pickleball partner. We would be a great duo. <laughs> Man, you gotta have fun sometimes with these. Not too much fun, right? If it's a chick that you think you could actually vibe with. Maybe think a little bit more than I am right now on this video, just saying random shit. But again, this was just a data-driven experiment. Swiped right on every single girl, just to see every single Muslim girl, just to see if they would throw away, you know, those conservative moral values for a guy who doesn't have the most conservative Muslim profile, right? So, let's see. Man, it's like, let's do a couple more. Tia, nurse, Muslim, Sunni, spontaneous, fitness fanatic. Okay, okay. They do call me South Asian fit for a reason. See if she, how conservative she is. Again, drinking, never. I mean, it's so interesting, you know? Fitness fanatic. And she was a nurse, right? Don't wanna get the occupation wrong. Yup, nurse, let's go. Fitness fanatic and a nurse. Looks. <laughs> God, such cringe game, but whatever. Looks like we are a match made in heaven. Fitness fanatic and a nurse. Looks like we are a match made in heaven. Let's do a couple more. Um. Just gonna do the cute girls now. Mm. Nah. Okay, she on a boat. Five six, masters, Sunni, Packy, grad student, UCLA, Orange County, born and raised. Yeah, I haven't been to California too much, man. Curious to check it out sometime, though. Weightlifting? Okay. She about them gains? Damn, man. Something long-term? Drink, Drinking never. Like, it's, it's insane, guys. Photos are everything. Moral of this video. Whatever values, moral values, when they come across a guy who has his presentation right when it comes to the online stuff, that's all that matters, you know? These bios, these dating coaches telling you these fancy bios and all this stuff on these online profiles, it's all cap, man. Literally presentation, photos. I mean, this is, this is, proof is in the pudding, man. Look at this shit. Anyways, um, let's see. What should I message her? Weightlifting. Assuming there was a gym on the on the boat. Nah. She's cute. I'm not gonna make this one as cringe. Weightlifting, 
what's your workout split like? Put the little muscle emoji. Pretty basic kind of message, nothing too cringe, you know? But she's cute, right? Can't fumble the bag on those ones. So yeah, anyways guys, that is it for today's video, man. What did we learn today? Even if you have a bio that doesn't align with a girl's morals and values, when it comes to online dating, if you have high quality photos, that really supersedes everything, guys. Invest in a photographer that can take good, high quality photos. Because at the end of the day, you might not have all the values that the girl's looking for, but if you can really maximize your online image on these online dating profiles, you will be just fine, man. Even if your values and the girl's values don't always align. So anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. Like, comment, subscribe, drop a comment below, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.